If you play Japanese style Mahjong and you want to improve your game, look for a Reach Strategy Primer by Dana Chiba. I'll have a link below the video so you can check that out. I'm going to play Solitaire applying a couple of those strategies. If you are a beginner or intermediate Reach Mahjong player and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. So let's play Solitaire with a focus on the five block method. I'm going to pick 14 random tiles for East, 13 for South, West, and North. Now I'm going to create the con wall. I'll put it way over here. Dora is six bam. And I'm going to create a mini wall so that we know when we can reach. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do for East. Using the five block method. So I'm gonna arrange these by suit first. Okay, five block method. We have outliers, block one, block two, three, four, five. If I were playing without the five block method, I would try for a half flush and get rid of all these. But using the five block method, I'm gonna include this, not only that, but here's Dora. There's some potential cheese in here. There's a pair, potential chi. Here's a potential pure double chi. So let's say that that is a potential reach, pure double chi. And these are inside weights. So at this point, there's no uh, side weight. So I don't think Pinfu would qualify, but we've got Reach, Pure Double Chi Potential, and two Dora tiles, plus Potential Ura Dora. So I would say this could be a, well, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four. That's four Han. So we're not quite to Mangan. If we can get to Pinfu, that would be a Mangan hand, which is a medium value. So let's get rid of the white dragon first. So the blocks are one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five blocks. And we have two, we have three middle weights. Not that's not good. Okay, let's let's see what we can do for south. So blocks for south, one, two, three, four. Okay, I would get rid of these and try for Pinfu. And these could be two potential cheese right here. One, two, three. This could be a pure double chi potential. Five, seven, five, seven. They're in the same situation as east. One, two, three, four, five, five blocks. So let's start by discarding those. Okay, there's the blocks. So this would be potential reach, potential pure double chi, 
and we have one Dora tile, Akadora. So that's three Han potential. Let's look at West. Blocks for West. One, one, two, three. These are all isolated. They have only three blocks. I would try for, if I get more BAMs, I might even try for a half flush. These are all isolated. We could probably get rid of the south. All right, let's just wait and see. Half flush is two Han. Two Han, no Dora. Okay, let's see what we can do here for north. One, two, three blocks. Well, with isolated tiles. I mean, I suppose you could consider that a block. They're not non-value tiles. Well, at, we're gonna say it's east round, so we could discard the east and keep the south for potential pinfu. If we draw an eight dot, we might be able to break these pairs up, or this pung and that pair. Okay, so let's throw the east first. So that's, they're in a rough situation, I think, using the five block method. So we'll discard for east, starting with the white dragon. East. Discards, white dragon. Drawing for south. White dragon, discard. Drawing for west, for bam. Okay, now blocks. There's already two white dragons. Let's just throw it. White dragon. We don't have to decide. But here's a potential pure double chi again. Okay, let's draw four north. Three dot. East, south, nine, five, six, seven, potential chi. Pone. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of the east and draw four east. Four crack. Okay, now let's look at blocks. One, potential chi, potential chi. Here's a pair. This might be isolated. Here's a chi. These are isolated. We could also have this be pawn. Two concealed pawns. We could go for three concealed pawns. All pawns concealed. Suanku. Su Anku. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Let's get rid of the three dot and draw four south. Three crack. The east was discarded. Let's throw the east and draw four west. Eight crack. Eight crack for west. Let's get rid of the south and draw four north. Two bam. Let's get rid of the south and draw four east. Four dot, discard. Let's draw four south, north. That's a good pair tile. So let's look at blocks. We have a pair this, these are isolated. One, two, three, four, five. There's too many. We have six blocks. 
six blocks. That's too many. Too many blocks. So potential chi, we can just get rid of all of these. It really, at this point, I don't think it matters because we're set for cheese in here. Let's just get rid of the north for south because they could still use these in case their single tiles go dead for these middle weights. There's a middle weight, middle weight, middle weight, edge weight. So these can give us potential tiles to recover. Okay, let's draw four west. Six dot. There's a filler. Five, six. So we have one, two, three, four. These are all isolated tiles right here. So we just have to pick at this stage. Let's get rid of the one bam. I read. Actually, let's keep the one bam and get rid of the one dot. I read that you should get rid of terminals before simples. So we're going to discard the one dot. Simples have better and uh, better chi potential with more options because you can play on either side, whereas terminals are good for pones and edge weights. So I think that's why terminals should be discarded before simples. And simples are two through eight. So let's go ahead and draw four north. Four dot, that is a keeper. One, two, three, four, and a pair. We're gonna reach. And that is the only Yaku, reach alone. But we're going to do it. We made it to 10 pi, and they would be ready. Wait. Oh, so they would be ready on either a 2 bam or a 9 bam. So I believe that's called a double weight because they're ready on either a 2 bam or a 9 dot. That's just one Yaku or one Han. That's a really low score, but they're ready. So I'm just going to reach. So I'm going to turn my tile and put out a marker. Even though that is a low value hand, Let's see, wait a minute. When to reach. Okay, so I'm getting conflicting information. My friend told me that you should try to get to 10 pi in six discards. So that's what we did here. But the only value to this hand is reach. And if they're lucky, they may get Ur Dora. There's no Dora in here at all. We'll just say East is the dealer. So when to reach versus when to not reach, also called Dhamma. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. If you have one of the following, reach plus one Han, a good weight, or the dealer. I don't know if a double weight is a good weight. I would say it's better than an edge weight because here we have an opportunity. Let's see, a good weight is two types and six tiles. Here we have one type and we have two tiles. So I don't think that's a good weight. No, no, no. Four, there's two nine dots and two, two bams. So that's four tiles. So it's one type with four tiles. So that is a medium strength, I guess. That's not real strong of a weight. So technically, 
I probably should not have reached for them yet. I should have looked for ways to improve the hand. For example, we could have broken this set and maybe used it in cheese and go for pin foo. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to just for the sake of learning, I'm going to take this back and I'm not going to reach. So, let's see if we can improve this situation. I got to remember that I'm on a journey to improve my strategy and based on Dana's recommendations, do not reach unless you have reach plus one Han, a good weight, or you're the dealer. And we have none of those. So we're going we're gonna to build this hand up. So we have one, two, we're going to break this up. Maybe we could use that as a pair. This could be a potential chi. These could all be potential chi's. Okay, so let's get rid of the nine dot. And we'll draw four east. South. That's a discard. Drawing for south. Oopsies. White dragon. The white dragon has been thrown. So we're going to discard that. And draw four west. Two bam. Okay, now there's some good chi potential in here. Here's, oops. There's a block. There's a block. There's a block. There's, we'll call this two potential blocks. We can break that up somehow. There's a block. Let's get rid of the nine dot. And then draw four north. Nine bam. Let's keep the nine bam and get rid of the nine dot. We got two cheese right there. There's a pair. Maybe we could keep that and get rid of the seven crack. Okay, four discards for everybody. Still try to make that 10 pi, speed to 10 pi and six discards. So let's draw four east, three crack. That's a good keeper. So let's discard the one bam, but let's look at their blocks. We have one, two, Three, one, two, three, four, five. We need a pair in here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, double sided weight, side weight. So we need a three crack in here. That's a pure double chi too. Let's get rid of the one bam and draw four south. <clears throat> so let's see here, hold on, let me think about value. So we have a potential pure double chi, potential pin foo, potential all simples, Pinfu, all simples, pure double chi, reach. Those, that's four, four Han. Yeah, uh, we have a Akadora. That's five or six. So let's call this a high value hand, maybe. So we just threw a one bam. Let's draw four south. Seven dot. Okay, let's get rid of the north and draw four west. Nine crack, keeper. Okay, let's look at blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We need a pair. One, two, three, four, five. These can go away. So this five block method should reveal discards making sure that each block has strength. Now this is an edge weight. This is a side weight, so this is good. If we get a seven crack, they'll be in good shape. Let's discard the five crack. 
and draw four north. Eight dot. Okay, let's look at blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Let's discard the nine bam. Nine bam. Everybody can still make it. Although this is Dora. We should try to work that in if possible, but it's isolated. Let's draw four east. Eight dot. They didn't make it. They did not make it to 10 pi. Okay, let's draw four south. One bam. One bam. That's another. They have too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's a pair. Either way, we can discard the seven dot. Move the game along. So they didn't make it to 10 pi in six discards either. But let's just look at their potential here. Middle or inside, inside, edge, inside or edge, two edges and three middles. So that's, I would say that's not good. So let's see what we can do to improve their situation. We'll draw four west to crack. That can be a discard. They didn't make it to 10 pi and six discards. North, one crack, we can discard that. So nobody made it to 10 pi in six discards. Let's keep going. We'll draw for east, eight dot, that was already discarded. We're gonna draw for south, red dragon. We're gonna discard it. Drawing for west, six crack, another potential middle weight. Let's see here. We, oh, I was thinking we could maybe get them to all simples, but we would have three more discards. Let's just take a look. Let's just hold these to the side and see what it looks like. One, there's a potential uh, triple or pure double chi, or pure double chi, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We need a pair in there though. Let's discard the nine crack because we still have a middle weight with the six, eight ver and uh, edge weight with the eight, eight, nine. Let's see if we can get them to all simples. Nine crack. Okay, let's draw four north, six dot. Get rid of the six bam, but let's look and see what their blocks are. One, two, three, four, five, edge versus middle weight. If we get rid of the nine dot though, they could be playing all simples. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Nine dot and draw for north, I mean east. Nine crack. Nine crack, okay, let's take a peek. Four, five, six, two, three, four, two, four, four, five, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's too many blocks. But let's just peek at this. We have a seven, nine, a pair of fives, a potential chi here, potential chi here, here is a chi. So if we just focus on the cracks alone, one, two, three, four, five. They have five blocks in one suit. And they can call for the tiles. They can call for a three crack here. Now it would have to come from north because they're chi's but we could also potentially pwn. Oh yeah, we were thinking about maybe um, three concealed pwns here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of the four bam. 
and draw four south. Four dot, that's not going to be helpful. Drawing four west, six dot. Okay, six dot, there's a pair. One, two, three, four, five. We'll hold the five for some flexibility there. Let's get rid of the one bam and draw four north, eight bam. Okay, let's look at blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, too many. So six, seven, eight, here's a, two, here's a uh, side weight. So that's good. We have too many pair. Oh, and we're going to use Akador, or Dora here too. So it really doesn't matter at this point. As far as what's on the table, there are cracks out and there are our bams out. So let's discard the seven crack. I'm kind of thinking it's a bit random at this point or arbitrary, I guess. Okay, let's draw for east. Red, discard. Drawing for south. Eight bam. Let's discard the three crack. So there's a potential side weight. We've got some chi potential, pwn potential. Okay, let's draw four west, north, discard. Drawing four north, eight bam. Let's just get rid of the seven crack. Drawing four east, two dot, discard. Everybody's concealed. Let's draw four. South. Six band. That's Dora. Okay, blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got too much, too many here. One, two, three, four, five. They have one, two, three pair, four pair, four pair. We have to make a choice. Okay. Let's get rid of the one dot, or one bam, for south. I hope that was the right thing to do. I don't know. That's an edge weight. That's why I picked it. Although there's an edge, there's a middle, there's a side, and there's a side, and potential peer double chi, and a potential, no, yeah, okay. We've got Dora in here too. So their hand value could be, let's say, pure double chi, reach, two Dora. If we work it right, even pin fu. So let's give them a medium value. We threw the one bam. Let's draw four west, four crack. Let's get rid of the nine bam. Blocks are pair. There's a block for potential cheese. Inside weights though. Here's a cheese, so that's a good block. Three, four, that's a side weight, that's good. And this is a side weight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're one away from reach. And they have re potential reach, potential pure double chi, Potential pinfu. That's three Han. No Dora. 
So that's only three Han. That's a, a low value, but we'll see. Okay, drawing for north, four dot. Oh, I had this backwards. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six, one, two, or two, three, four. And we have two pair here. One, two, three, uh, four, and a pair. They have a middle weight here, a middle weight. So they couldn't qualify for pin foo. Oh, if I had kept that nine dot, we could have gotten them maybe to a pure straight. Oh, well. Okay, let's, oh, and they do have Dora, by the way. Now, when to reach is if you're the dealer or if you're going to do reach plus one Han, including Dora, which we have. Six Bam is Dora. Reach plus Dora is reach plus one Han. So let's reach. The weight is not good though. There are none out. Let's go ahead and reach for north. It is a low value hand. So that was in 10 discards. Now we're gonna draw for east. Eight dot discard. Drawing for south, one crack, discard. Drawing for, oh, you know what? Let me just back that up a second. Because I'm trying to focus on another strategy where if one of your opponents, or one or more of your opponents has reached, you have to reassess and decide if you're gonna push or fold. So for player two, they have a medium value hand. They have Mongon. And they are one they are one discard from ready. And I believe that fits the push criteria. Push with two of the following ready, high value, good weight. Ready, high value. No, they don't ready they're not ready ready high value they have a mongon potential they're not ready so technically they should fold but they do not have any tiles they don't have any gen butsu tiles so we're just going to have them throw a white one crack so they really technically should fold. West, they are, they have, they're one away from ready. One plus away, low hand, bad weight. They have two side weights. They have a low, they have a low value hand. And they're one away, so they should fold. Apparently they should fold. Okay, west should fold. North. So we discarded for south, a one crack. Four, four, so we're gonna draw four west. Seven bam, seven bam. So let's say that's a pair, block one, two, three, four, five. That's a good two-sided two weight, as is that. Seven bam. We already have a pair here. We've got two pair here and two two-sided weights. Let's see. Okay. Five, six. We still need a pair. 
one, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Five, six. We still need a pair. Pair, chi, 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 potential chi, two discards. Okay, <clears throat> let's get rid of the eight bam for West. They're still one away from reach, but technically they should fold. Eight bam. They didn't have any Genbutsu tiles anyway. There are three seven cracks out. We should get rid of this eight crack next. I should have thrown a seven crack. I mean, uh, no, they don't have a seven crack. The seven cracks are in North's pile. Okay, let's draw for North. Five dot. We can't change their hand. That's Akador. You would think, well, why not replace it? That hand is locked in. They cannot improve their hand. So five, ban uh, five dot, discard. So now we're going to draw for east. Two dot. Okay, we need to think about east. East has a high value hand. So we're, let's see here, whether or not they fold to, should they fold to a reach opponent? Push with two of the following. They're the dealer, or I'm sorry, they have a high hand, they do. They're ready, they're not, and they have a good weight. They still don't even have a weight, technically. Let's see, we're trying for maybe a con uh, three concealed pawns. There's one, two crack out. Let's discard the two dot and just push. And draw four south, two dot. That was just discarded. So that is Genbutsu or Temporary Furitan. I don't know if that's the same thing. Um, let's draw four west. Three crack. Okay, there's a good weight now right there. So we have a pair, three, four. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Five blocks and good weights, side weights. Let's discard the eight crack and draw four north, nine dot. That is a discard. They have all simples too. Okay, down here, nine dot was discarded. Nine bam, that's Genbutsu. We're gonna discard it, draw for south. Red, discard. This is the third one, fourth one, third one. So we're good there. Now we're gonna draw for west. Two crack. Oh my goodness, they're getting close. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's discard a six crack for west and draw for north. East, discard. Drawing for east, three dot. Okay, three dot, discard. Drawing for south, green. Uh -oh. Okay, none of their tiles are in North's pile. So this is South discarding. Let's just discard the green. That would have been a scary discard in real life. Okay, just drawing for West. Green, oh nice, temporary Puritan. Okay, drawing for North. West, discard. Drawing for east, west, discard. Drawing for south, west, discard. That's weird. Drawing for west, seven dot. Okay, they made it to reach. Um, now, whether or not they reach, there are qualifiers for this. 
according to Dana Chiba in his strategy book. Reach versus Dharma. Reach if one of the following. Reach plus one Han. If we discard this, they're ready for Pinfu, Pure Double Chi, No Dora, and Reach. So that's three Han. Three Han. Reach plus one Han. Okay, yeah, that's the, they qualify. And they have a good weight. That's two out of the three. So we're going to reach for West. Reaching for West. Six dot. Okay, now East and South. We need to reevaluate. East has a high hand, so I don't think we should fold. Um, south has a medium hand. So let's just hold off. North and West have low scoring hands, but they're both ready. Okay, so six dot was discarded by West. They're ready on a two bam or a five bam. We're gonna draw four North, six bam. They need a seven bam. So there's North and we're gonna draw four East, one bam. One BAM is in West discard pile, so we're going to discard that and draw four South. They each have one more pick. Nine crack. I don't think we're going to get them to ten pie. We need to discard smartly here. South is going to fold. We No, they actually have two more discards, but they have they have way too much work to do here. Here's a chi, potential chi, potential chi, potential. I mean, they have way too much potential with very little, they, they have no time left. They need to switch to defense. We're, they have, they're way too far away. They have too many discards. So we need to pick something. We need to pick a genbutsu tile. So eight bam is Genbutsu. And draw for West, seven dot. Okay, they need a two BAM or a five BAM, seven dot. And we're gonna draw for North, three dot. That is a discard. Drawing for East, Green Dragon. That's been thrown. Drawing for South, nine BAM. Nine BAM is Genbutsu for both North and West. We're gonna draw four West. Three BAM, oh, that's too bad. Okay, we're gonna discard it, we have to. Three BAM and we're gonna draw four North. Eight crack, discard. Drawing for East. Green Dragon, that's been discarded now four times. Drawing for South, and this is the last tile. Five dot. So they need to now discard the last tile. And North and West, North and West, we need to pick, okay, nine crack or six crack. Six crack is both, six and nine cracker in West seat. Um, discard pile. So is a one dot. For North, there's a five dot in their pile. There's eight crack in both piles. So we're gonna discard for South and eight crack. And that is the last tile. So, North and West are ten pi. East and South are no ten. So they will each pay fifteen hundred to these players, I believe is how that works. Okay, I'm still learning on scoring. So East pays 
let's see here. Oh, for, for 10 pi, they would pay a shared value of 3,000. Let's see here, how does that work? They share it, so 1,000 goes here and 1,000 goes here. I guess that's how it works. But does east pay double? Is that how that works? I need to research that. I'm still figuring out payment. Okay, so that's the result. That's a wall game. Oh man, this is a complicated game. In a good way though, I love it. If you would have done anything differently for any of these hands, please write it in the comment section. As you can tell, I'm learning. I'm a Padawan learner on a journey to master reach. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up on an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Hopefully we'll have some people commenting below sharing their knowledge because a lot of it's not going to come from me. I'm still learning. And don't forget to look at Dana Chiba's book. There's a link below the video between now and the next solitaire for Japanese style mahjong, also known as Reach. May all your picks be keepers.